In this video, I'm going to show you how to change report layout in Xero. So once you've logged into your Xero account, you'll be greeted with this dashboard landing page. Now here, you're just going to look for the tab section on this part right here, and then look for accounting. Under accounting, click on reports, and you should see of you should see all the available reports in your Xero account. Now we're just going to select the report that we wish to edit. Take note that it has to be an editable report. So for example, we have here balance sheet. So we're going to try to edit the layout of this report right here. Now, once we open it, we can see uh, this page right here. And on the bottom left section of the screen, we can edit the layout. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now it'll show us a more structured version of that report. And if we wish to edit a specific row or heading, we can just go ahead and click that and we can rename the heading. We can also uh, change what to display. And it has some rules over here for accounts by code and negative balances. And if you wish to move a specific row to a different position, you can do that by clicking and holding it or dragging it to wherever you want to place it, just like that. You can also group a bunch of rows together by clicking on one and then holding on shift or control and then clicking on the others that you wish to group itself with. And then you're going to click this button right here, which says group selection. As you can see, they have been grouped together. And you can also rename the group. Now, if you wish to undo that, you just look for this uh, trash bin icon over here, which says ungroup. This will automatically separate them again. Now, if we take a look at these buttons above, we can add a text block at the bottom of the report right here. If you wish to, for example, maybe take note of uh, certain references or maybe uh, just some uh, reminders of any information related to the report. You can also edit the heading here to be numbered or standard or none at all. And you can also hide it when published or exported into a PDF. Now, if you wish to remove that again, just click on the trash bin icon. The next button will be for schedule. You can add a schedule at the bottom of the report. So you can add accounts here and then you can put a specific date, maybe for uh, noting due dates or when the specific uh, report or uh a an account was paid something like that and then you can change the date so again we're just going to remove that for now as we're just showing the examples of what you can do um you can also add a footer if you'd like you can add more rows and to include another heading or uh another section we're going to choose formula just like that. And then we're just going to insert our formula here. Maybe, for example, if you're looking for a net profit percentage, something like that, and then just edit its title. We can also add a column here for date or formula notes, percentage, variance, tracking, whatever it is you need to see on your report. You can add it here, maybe like that. You see, you can have a percentage for each of the items we have. The same applies to all the other options. And you can also add a page break right here. Now, once we're satisfied with those changes, we just go ahead and click on update layout to ensure that this will be saved on our report. Just like that and the changes should reflect on our new balance sheet. And that's about it. That's how you change report layout in Xero.
If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help you out.